Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself Shiva Prasad. I hope you are all doing great. This is first problem on sliding window algorithm. So in previous lecture, I explained what is mean by sliding window and its significance while trying to solve a problem. So from this problem, we are going to implement that algorithm to get a good grab over it. Without further delay, let's get into the lecture. Let's try to understand this problem. So a string is a good string if there are no repeated characters inside that particular sub array. Uh, I mean to say substring. Let's try to see. We need to return the number of good substrings of length 3 in S. And note that if there are multiple occurrences of save string, save substring, even occurrence should be counted. Okay, a substring is a contiguous sequence of characters in string. Let's try to see. Here we given x, y, z, z, a, z. If we look at this and they are asking about length 3. Okay, so first we take length 3, x, y, z. So here every character is unique. Okay, this substring has no repeated characters. I mean, uh, then the count is 1. Then we take y, z, z. Here z is repeated. We ignore. Then again z, z, a. Here also z repeated. We ignore. And again z, a, z. Here also z repeated. We ignore. So after completing this whole string, then we got only one substring where there are no repeated characters. So likewise it applies to this. So we need to basically return the number of substring where there are no repeated characters available. Let's try to understand how we can solve this in here. We are given a substring. So x, y, z z a z okay what is the navy approach okay so first we take i here and we can take j here okay then we can iterate through this complete what i can say a uh, string so it is going to be for i equal to zero i less than what is the length of this string 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 oh sorry 6 minus 3 that is nothing but 3 so we need to stop at this position okay then i less than or equal to length i am denoting with n n minus 3 then i plus plus then inside that i start from here okay then for j equal to i plus 1 j less than i plus 3 j plus plus so what is going to happen here i is what 0 0 plus 3 that is nothing but 3 so i am starting with 1 okay j equal to 1 and j less than 3 that means I will stop at j equal to 2 okay then every time what I am going to check I am going to check whether this 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 are equal or not here okay and if it is not equal then I do count plus plus so assume we are taking one count variable to track the number of unique substrings then we can return it then count but what is the time and space complexities with this approach? So it is going to be big O of k into n, where n is for outer loop, k is for inner loop. Okay, and uh, space complexity is going to be big O of 1 only uh, because uh, we are not taking any additional data structure rather than a uh, constant uh, count variable so can we optimize this with the help of sliding window algorithm yes let's try to understand that x y z z a z if you recall my previous explanation of this you might already got a hint of how to solve this 
we are always looking for a substring where the length should be 3 that means it's a fixed size size sliding window based problem okay then why we need to recompute everything again and again what i mean by that so if we go with previous one okay the previous approach what we are trying to do every time we are starting from here i and j starts from i plus one and we are uh, what you can say going till j less than i plus three okay so let's assume when i equal to zero and j equal to one okay you are checking this with this and then you come here j you check this with this then condition false okay then you got count as one okay then i will become here and j will be here then you check this with this and this with this and you see uh, z is repeated so here size is 3 okay so someone asks us to what you can say look at the size of n then what you are essentially doing you are checking the characters again and again again and again right so why we need to do that we no need to do that and if you go with the sliding window algorithm it is going to be too simple let me explain how exactly we can solve this x y z z a z okay so what i'm going to uh, understand is if you carefully observe this is one window right and this is one window and this is one window and this is one window okay then why i need to what i can say run two loops i no need actually okay let's see how we can so initially i am going to take three variables a b c okay a is points to the character at zero position that is nothing but x y points to the y i mean b points to the y and c points to the z okay initially then i start my loop from here that means i equal to 3 i less than uh, we are getting some string so s dot length then i plus plus so inside here what i am going to do here is the first step is now i got a b c of size 3 first i need to check whether this substring is what i can say accountable I mean to say like whether it has repeated or it's not then what I do is I check a b c if a b c are not equal okay so as usual we need to maintain a count variable okay initially start with this if a not equal to b not equal to c okay so then we need to increment the count now carefully observe as soon as I done with that okay i done with that what i am going to do is i am say we are done with this right then what i am going to do is i am just going to slide this substring here to here okay so that what going to happen so after doing this a will become b right b will become c c will become s dot caret of i right so initially a was x now it is going to be y then c initially b was y then now it is going to be z and initially c was z yeah of course at third position also we have still z then this is going to be z so we repeat this continuously i mean we repeat this loop until it satisfies this condition okay with the help of this we are solving this problem in big of n time complexity okay the space complexity is still going to be big of one okay i hope you got this and in subsequent lectures uh, we are going to see these kind of problems on array so that you can get a clear picture on the sliding window and if you have any doubt please do let me know for now let's jump into the coding part i am inside here as i am saying if uh, let me take a variable n is equals to s dot length if n is less than 3 okay 
if given string is less than 3 then definitely we are not going to have any good string right good substring i mean to say so then just return 0 otherwise char a equal to s dot caret of 0 and b equal to s dot caret of 1 and c equal to s dot caret of 2 okay initially i am taking three characters okay and i am going to have one count variable initially that it starts with 0 then i am starting my for loop for int i equal to 3 since already i took till index 2 then i am starting loop with third index then i less than n i plus plus my what is my first condition i need to check whether this is a valid substring or is not right so it's it's simple if a not equal to b and b not equal to c and c not equal to a then it's clearly a substring which we are looking for then count increment otherwise a is going to be b b is going to be c c is going to be s dot caret of i and after completing this okay you are still going to left with a b c okay you need to compare it last also then just take this condition here then simply return count let's run in this yeah it got ran so let's give a another substring here instead of this one let's see we should get output as 4 yeah we got it so let's submit yeah it took only 1 milliseconds and faster than 96.90 percentage of online java submissions i hope you learned something new today and please stay tuned to my channel and i'm going to upload more uh, awesome content on this particular algorithm thanks a lot 